June 6, 1944 would see the beginning of the end to the German occupation of Europe. One particular beach would see some of the fiercest fighting of the day. In this video, we look at the story of Jimmy Monteith Jr., a man who was awarded the Medal of Honour for his actions on D-Day. Born July 1st, 1917 in Virginia, Jimmy would complete his schooling before going to university and majoring in mechanical engineering. He would be drafted into the army in late October and during basic training, promoted to the rank of corporal. Applying for and being accepted to officer training, he was sent to Fort Benning in Georgia. By March 1942, he had completed training and attain the rank of second lieutenant. He would continue training with the 30th Division before being sent to Algeria in April 1943, where he joined the 16th Infantry Regiment of the 1st Division. By July of the same year, the division moved to Sicily, where Jimmy would be promoted to the rank of first lieutenant. Finally, in November 1943, the division moved to England, in preparation for the D-Day invasion. On the morning of June 6th, 1944, Jimmy would be one of around 150,000 Allied troops to land on the beaches and fields of Normandy in northern France. Part of the first assault waves, he would land on the beach codenamed Omaha in the Fox Red Sector. His landing craft would stop near Colville sur Mer under heavy enemy fire. As he waded ashore with his men and without regard to his own personal safety, he moved up and down the beach, reorganising men for further assault. He led the assault over a narrow protective ledge and across the flat exposed terrain to the somewhat safety of a small cliff. After this, he went back across a field to the beach, where he located two tanks who at that time were held up and blind under violent enemy artillery and machine gun fire. Completely exposed to the intense fire, he led the tanks on foot through a minefield and into firing positions. Then, under his direction, several enemy positions were destroyed by the tanks. After this, he rejoined his company and, leading his men, ran towards a position known by the Germans as WN-60. This location was strongly defended by the Germans. We can see its perfect position here, which allowed for accurate fire to rain down on the beach. The location had several Tobruks containing machine guns, mortars and even one with a French tank turret. Further to that, there were two 75mm field guns aimed at the beach. The area was surrounded in barbed wire and minefields, as well as a trench system for the German soldiers to move through. The Americans would take this position, which allowed for advantage over the surrounding landscape. Supervising the defence of this new position against repeated vicious counterattacks, he continued to ignore his own personal safety. He repeatedly crossed the 300 yards of open terrain under heavy enemy fire to link up with other US soldiers. When the enemy succeeded in completely surrounding Jimmy and his unit and while leading the fight out of the situation, First Lieutenant Monteith was killed by enemy fire. For him, the fight was over, but his unit and the Allies would be successful in securing the beachhead in Normandy that day. For his courage, gallantry and intrepid leadership, First Lieutenant Jimmy Monteith was awarded the Medal of Honour. His sacrifice that day was an example of the willingness the men of his generation were able to give in order for the world to be free of the oppression the Axis forces had thrust upon the world. What did you think of First Lieutenant Jimmy Monteith's actions on D-Day? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below.
As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.